I don't even know what we're doing here. We're all just gonna die in 10 years anyway. What are we even doing here? When you think of Arizona, what do you think about? Well, we're not gonna talk about any of that. So I heard that you are one of the first people that got solar power here. What was that, like five years ago? 30 years ago. 30 years ago, the internet didn't even exist. Why the hell would you want solar panels? I needed light, I needed entertainment, I needed something. Solar, I heard, was really good. You could live anywhere with solar. What's the first thing you did <laughs> when you got solar panels? Because I think I would just go charge my vibrator. <laughs> You got a vibrator? I don't have a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I wanted most was to watch a movie. So basically, Native people want to Netflix and chill just like everybody else. I always say, whoever controls your water and your power controls your destiny. Right now in the US, tribal lands have the highest rate of houses without electricity. That keeps us in a pretty marginalized position. Unlike the rest of the country, we don't have the same access to power, meaning we can't communicate in the same ways, we can't organize in the same ways. When we bring solar energy into our communities and give people access to power, then it changes everything. 80% of the biodiversity is on indigenous or near indigenous lands, and yet less than 2% of philanthropic or investment is going into these communities. And 80% of fossil fuel extraction in the world is on or near indigenous people's land too. There's a lot of hard realities in native communities, but I think there are people thriving and rising and creating amazing solutions. You're such an innovator. We need more Janices <laughs> in the world. Maybe then we wouldn't be in such a shit show. I always say, well, what if everything goes down? All the power, all your um, computers, all this stuff that you depend on. What if the whole thing crashes one day? And now they got this new thing called the echo and you just don't have to think about anything. All you do is ask it a question. Turn on my lights, <laughs> turn off the lights. They make people soft because they can't think for themselves. So what you're saying is we can actually take our power back. I believe we would save the world if we all went to solar. We have already survived apocalypse. We've survived genocide. We've survived settlers' colonization, wiping out entire food sources. We've survived biological warfare. And we're here and we're still thriving. The rest of the world, non-native folks, have a lot to learn. <laughs>